Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Wednesday, September 5th. We're going to get a couple of these, and then we're going to use this deck right here. This just fell out. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it did fall out. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. We're going to see what else we can get. We're going to get a couple of these, and we're going to clarify them at the end. Don't try to make this reading fit. If it doesn't fit, then it's not for you. Release your ex. The time has come. The time has come to clear your energy if you haven't already. Oh, separation. Boy, they, they, uh, they match, don't they? The time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Well... We're going to stay with that. We're going to get some of these. I've had this deck for a while. I just don't use it very often. September 5th, 6th. Okay, the 5th to the 6th. All signs. Fresh new deck, fresh new start. I mean, it's not a new deck, but it's been put in the drawer for quite a while. So, fresh new start. That's what this is. Eight of Swords. Freeing yourself. Yeah. It's time to free yourself. You've been trapped in a situation that is not healthy. It's not stable. Um, it's mental. Okay, she's standing in a river. It's cold. It's... It's, um, oh God, the word is right there. It just won't come out. There's a lot of emotions, put it that way. You know, she's very emotional. She's, she's, she's choosing to stay in the current, basically. She's choosing to. She can get out of there whenever she wants. Her legs aren't bound. She could, I mean, there's a space. She can walk right through and get out, but she's choosing to stay in a situation that is making her feel trapped. So some of you are staying in a situation, who knows for what reason, but you're allowing it. You are allowing yourself to stay in something that, it's almost like a prison, all right? It's not where you wanna be, it's not. It's almost like a victim mentality as well. You know, that's what I see here. It's like she's playing the victim. You know, it's like I get, a, I, I get attention from this. So keep that in mind. Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Scared of love, perhaps. You may be protecting yourself from love. So like, because if you look, it looks like she's running away from it at this point. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm really scared of love at this point. Um, the star reversed. You have to make a decision. Do you want to, do you want to be single? Or do you want to stay, or do you want to be in a relationship? I mean, this is what this is. This is the Nine of Pentacles. Do you want to, you know, do it on your own? Or or do you want to <clears throat> fall in love? I mean, what is it going to be? This Two of Wands is a decision. Do you want to move forward? Do you want to take steps in a, in a new direction? Or do you want to stay where you're at? I mean, if you look at it, I mean, that's what this is about. There's an opportunity for love here. But it's like somebody is throwing throwing this wish away. They're not feeling like, I, I don't have faith in love. I don't have any hope that this will work out. There's insecurities that are holding somebody back from, from love. But with the Nine of Pentacles, it's like, you know, I'm really good right where I'm at. I am uncomfortable. I have everything I need. I've got, I, you know, I don't have to answer to anybody. If I want to, if I want to, I 
just focus on me, I can. You know, I'm in control. So I feel like right now, you know, this is where a lot of people are at. You know, everything is good right where I'm at. But I'm thinking about love. I want love. I do want it. I do want it because it's here. It's here. I want it. And now I have to make the decision, do I want to get on that ship or not? Because here we have water. Ship is like right around the corner. And here we have ships in this water as well. So I feel like the ship that you have been wishing for is arriving. It's arriving. It's here. God is offering you something emotionally fulfilling. Okay? No, I didn't know if that was a dove or what. Can't really see his face. But it is a wish, you know, if there's like a star behind it and, and it's a wish. It's something you've been secretly or could be secretly or deep down or even not secretly. You've been wishing for it. You've been wishing for this this loving opportunity. Okay. Now you're at this crossroads, you have to make a decision. Do you want it or not? Do you want it or not? Some of you may decide, you know, I'm better off on my own. I can be quite fine, you know, and I, I'm rich right now. I'm rich. You see, she's rich. I'm rich as I am. I've already got everything I need. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Judgment reversed. Ten of Cups reversed. Somebody is really, really thinking about leaving a relationship or they are leaving a relationship. They're giving up on it. There's no more hope here. And that's where this release your ex and separation comes in. I'd rather be single. I would rather be single. There's no chance of reconciliation. Maybe somebody comes back, I'm starting to get the chills, and wants a reconciliation. Or they want to offer you a relationship. If it's, if it's not a re reconciliation, it's a brand new relationship. Somebody's offering you a relationship, and it looks like somebody's saying no. Mm -hmm. Yep, Prince of Cups reversed, and the Hangman reversed. It's Yeah, I feel like somebody is like, no, I don't want this. I don't want this. I'm going to be patient and wait for the right ship to arrive. I have multiple options. I, I got plenty of options. I don't need to just take the first one so or take the biggest one or take the best one or whatever. I feel as though somebody is deciding to close themselves off emotionally to that loving feeling with somebody. You know, I, I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. I don't think that I can do this. There's no chance. There's no, there's no, I don't forgive you yet. There's, or I don't forgive love. I don't forgive my past. I, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So I don't know who this is for. I'm not ready to open up to love. That's what this looks like. Do you guys think that I was going to forget? So this is Tarot Illuminati, the deck. So this is the Illuminati deck. Um, I will try to start naming the decks. I, I'll try to remember. Um, I think that there could be an offer of love that comes in. And it could be somebody wanting a reconciliation. Okay. So with the judgment card is a reconciliation. And this can be a reconciliation. It can also be a new love. Okay. But... And I think that somebody is like, you know, I don't have any faith in this. I've done so well. I have done so, so well on my own. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm rich. Period. Whether, you, you know, it's monetarily or not. I'm rich as I am. Okay. And now, you know, I've, I've got my guard up. I got the walls around me. Um... And I don't feel like I can open myself up emotionally to this situation. I think somebody is turning down an offer of love. 
That's what this looks like to me. Because I am still fighting my own... I'm still fighting the current within. I'm still fighting the current within in regards to love. I'm still working on myself. I'm still healing. I'm still lacking faith in love. So I'm focusing on me at this time. I'm focusing on healing. I'm focusing on my independence. I'm focusing on my job. I'm focusing on my home. I'm focusing on everything but love at this time because I just don't think that there's any chance. There's any chance that this will work out with the judgment card. This woman up here, or man, this nine of pentacles is the single person who is enjoying life. I, I enjoy where I'm at. You know, I'm good. I'm absolutely good. But she can be a little cold hearted. And, and, and sometimes that happens because she gets to the point where she can't, he or she can't invest in things that are fluid. You know, I'm not, I, I'm not going to do that at this point. You know, I'm going to only invest in stable, secure things at this time. That's all I'm interested in. So I feel like, you know, there's an opportunity to accept an offer of love. But it looks to me like it will be rejected. I, it, that's what it looks like. I think there's a rejection here. Somebody is being wise. You look at the look on his face. He's thinking about it. He is, you know trying to make sure that he does the right thing and whoever this person is that is making this offer has thought about it they have and they're they're probably thinking that you know there, there may not be any chance but I'm gonna make that offer anyway so I feel like and, and or this could be you really really thinking about you know what you're gonna do how you're gonna handle this situation nobly um, the hangman reverse it's like I don't want to sacrifice my everything I've done this is this is fear of sacrifice you know or you've been sacrificing yourself too long so I feel like I feel like if I if I give my heart to you you know then I will sacrifice the my life you know my my independence I'll sacrifice my my ideals and at this point, my ideals are me, you know? So I feel like today somebody ha is deciding to put themselves first. I, you know, right now, it's all about me. And I can't allow this opportunity whatever you want to call it to come in and and change my life I just don't I'm not there that's what I see it's just you know I don't I don't want it I don't want it right now this is not the opportunity that is good enough to accept you know what I mean it's not that's what I see it's like that this isn't the opportunity that I believe in you know so I think somebody could be turning down a reconciliation. They could, or they could be turning down a new offer of love because I'm, I'm happy right where I'm at. That's what this is. I mean, I'm not going to make it into something it's not. And that's, that, that's it. I'm not going to make it into something it's not. So I think that that's, that's, what this, that's what the message is. We can't make this into something it's not. Somebody is no longer emotionally invested like they used to be in love. They're not. They're not. They've given up with that star card. I've given up on love. For right now, right now, uh, this a relationship is not feasible. Now, this, like I said at the beginning of this reading, don't try to make this fit. This reading, you know, there's thousands of people. That watch these readings. It will not be for you every single time. And it's sad that all us readers, we have to mention that. It's common sense. I 
I think somebody is turning away from, turning down a relationship. Turning down a relationship. This is it right here, okay? We're going to clarify these two cards. Release your ex and separation. Somebody is saying goodbye. No, no. This will not resonate with everybody, okay? It's going to resonate with a lot, though. I know that it is. I'm pretty confident that it is because I think this is exactly the case that somebody's like, you know what? I'm better off. I'm moving on. I'm moving on to bigger and better things. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to fly. That song by Ario Speedwagon. My, my intuition says the time is now to separate from this situation completely. Goodbye to you. <laughs> Where all these songs are coming from, I don't know. My intuition says that this is not the situation for me. It's time for me to fly. <sighs> so we will get one of these, I suppose. Somebody is turning down an offer of love. That's what I see. I will patiently wait for the arrival of the perfect ship, you know, the perfect candidate. I will I will patiently wait. I will wait. And in the meantime, I'm going to get prepared for this ship to arrive. In the meantime, I'm going to I'm going to get prepared. I'm going to prepare myself so that I'm ready when the ship comes in. That's what this is about. And in the meantime, I'm not going to jump on, on any ships that have holes that are going to sink. I'm not getting on any sinkable ships. Thank you, please, God. I'm not getting on any sinkable ships. Please, God, no. No sinkable ships. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. You do not need to suffer to grow. You can grow leaps and bounds through joy. True happiness comes from following the dictates of your soul. Do what gives you joy. Celebrate and have fun. Stop and embrace life, yourself, and others. Take steps to expand your joy. You don't need to do it all at once, but you do need to start. Your purpose in life is to experience joy. Allow joy and ecstasy to flow through you wildly and freely. Share your love. Happiness spreads to others like wildfire and can help heal the world. The sacred traveler knows that it's not just about reaching the destination, it's about the joy of the journey. The traveler stops periodically to savor the simple pleasures of the voyage. I think you're at a stopping point. That's what I think. If you don't follow your bliss now, when will you? If you've been waiting until circumstances are different before you experience true happiness, you may have a long wait. It's simple. When you focus on the areas of your life that bring you joy, these areas will prosper. So, at this point, it's time for you to do what's right for you what's making you happy, to keep yourself happy. And I feel like somebody is moving on from something that makes them unhappy right to a place of joy and delight. Their intuition has been leading the way. And it's time to free yourself from that mental trap, that prison that you've been living in. 
you have the ability to be rich on your own. Talk to you later. P.S. Richness comes from within.